Hi guys, welcome back to The Pulse. I'm Marcel, your host. I wanna thank you for all of the people that watched the last video from a week ago. I usually post a couple times a week, but I kinda of laid low this time because there were so many views flooding in for the one year NMN video, which is also the 10,000 subscriber celebration with huge giveaways. I'm gonna announce those winners later in this video, so keep watching. Uh, you might have won, you might have won. There's three lucky winners we're gonna announce. First, today's video is about Fizetin, an update, a pretty significant update that I've been experiencing taking Fizetin. So I'm gonna break down where I'm at with that and also encourage you guys to comment. One of the upcoming videos I have, I wanna talk a little bit about today, give you a little teaser. It's about NAD shots and drips. I've interviewed a couple experts. One of them is Dr. Daniel Barrett, and I'm gonna give you a little primer, a little prelude to what's coming. He has a plastic surgery clinic in Beverly Hills. He's right on Wilshire Boulevard, treats a lot of famous and wealthy people, and he's begun offering NAD shots, and he's also experimenting. Matter of fact, he's getting an NAD drip during the video interview. And in this first clip, he talks about how he came about offering NAD and why, and why it's beneficial and can be beneficial, what it's been doing so far for his patients, some very fascinating things. So yes, I'm a plastic surgeon. And what does NAD have to do with plastic surgery? Well, I learned about it through the Ben Greenfield podcast and I did my research on it, and it is a powerful molecule for anti-aging. And so a lot of what I do is restorative in terms of plastic surgery. People are trying to look younger, they're trying to look better. And I was like, what if there's a way I can do something in addition to what I can do with my hands, with surgery? And so I looked up NAD, I actually tried out, uh, I had a nurse who was here and she was kind of into the biohacking world as well. And I was like, let's try this out because you know, I don't know if you guys know, but I do Ironman triathlons. I have Kona Ironman coming up in a couple weeks. And I was like, let's try this NAD drip. Let's see what happens to me and to her. And we felt great after that. And you know, it wasn't until a little bit later that we started offering it in the office because um, what we found is it, it not only can it help with aging, but it also helps with uh, recovery after surgery. And that's one of the big things that I have because people, one of their limitations for getting surgery is they don't want that, that massive recovery. And if their NAD is boosted up, especially if they're older, they tend to recover better and things like that. So that's why we started offering it in the office through the research that's been out there, my personal experience, um, and the results that I'm getting from my patients. So be on the lookout for the complete video on NAD shots and drips. Very interesting stuff, a lot more information. I think you're gonna be very pleased with that new video when it's finished and edited and in the public domain. I think it's gonna be very informative, not just for all of you, but for myself and learning about the various benefits of really an intervention treatment of NAD. When you think about it, we're taking NMN, in some cases NR, as a preventative measure. It's preventative maintenance so that we don't get into these dramatic situations where we really need a higher dosage intervention, I guess. But in some cases, I think it could very well be necessary when things have progressed too far. In the cases of long COVID, lupus is another example, Lyme disease, and surgery recovery. So there are many different ways that an NAD direct injection uh, or drip can be beneficial. And we're gonna explore some of these and sort of hopefully inform some of you when maybe you need a little bit more dramatic intervention. Now, I'm always on the lookout in ways that I can maximize my results from taking NMN, resveratrol, and other supplements and my overall exercise routine. How can I get in more exercise, better exercise? And Fizetin, I started taking late July, early August. At first, I was just taking one gram a day, uh, similar to the other supplement protocols I've been doing. And as a trial, I've been hearing about it. I saw it on the Do Not Age website. I've been reading about it. Uh, Dr. Sinclair has talked more about it in recent interviews and that there were a lot of promising results. Someone commented, and here again is the power of these comments, that um, they pointed out that the Mayo Protocol was very fascinating and that a lot of people were trying this and getting some great results, where you take a high dosage for just a few days, usually a couple days. And I decided after looking into it, first of all, I made a video about it, and then I tried it myself, and I had this immediate 
energy boost taking four grams a day. I ended up going for three days because I was a little greedy. I was so selfish with the results, but I had three really strong days. Now, I've come up conceptually in my mind with this sort of Superman scale. And what that is, is when you're younger, you kind of feel, you don't just have more energy, you don't just have better focus, but you literally feel invincible. Like that could be a danger at some times for some people, but ultimately that's really what I think it means to be young, to feel young is to have that sort of, I can't be conquered, I can do anything, I'm sort of invincible. And the scale of invincibility is this Superman scale that I've just come up with. I never thought about it until I started taking Fizotin and felt a multiplying effect or a further boost. Now, I want to be very descriptive. Forgive me if it drags on a little bit here, but I really want to describe what I was feeling from Fizotin during those three days so that other people will know what to look for and kind of know how to test it. Keep in mind, I take a relatively high dosage of NMN now, 1.5 grams per day. I was up to two for a while. I, I settled back down to 1.5, but that's three times what a lot of people are taking, or at least 50% more than you know some people are taking. I'm getting great benefits from that already. I'm also exercising a lot, and I'm eating quite healthily. So I'm doing a lot of things in my wellness routine that are positive. So Fizotin multiplying for me could very well be different than for a lot of other people. I've heard a handful of positive, similar comments from people experiencing similar boosts from taking Fizotin that I have, but I haven't heard a lot. That's either because not a lot of people are trying it yet, trying that Mayo Clinic protocol, or it's just that everybody has a different situation and it's just not impacting them the way it is for me. But one thing that's very interesting, I'm exercising quite a bit. And that's when I notice most of the effects from this Fizotin boost. If I run four kilometers on a given day, it's that fourth kilometer where I really feel that invincibility, like I can keep going. And before Fizotin, I could do the 4K, but I would taper toward the end of, of a workout. And this is tennis. This is with weights. This is with any exercise that I'm doing over a longer period of time for like an hour, the end of the exercise was boosted when I was doing this Fizotin boost. I hadn't noticed that in the year I've been taking pure NMN. I hadn't noticed that invincible feeling at the end of a workout. I always had a taper down. So you could understand how it got my attention so vividly because it was totally different. And I did recall back to when I was in my teens and my 20s when I had that feeling at the end of a workout. So it was really and truly a, a feeling younger moment. Now it was fleeting. After the three days, I came back down to baseline where I'm usually on that Superman scale of one to 10, I'm usually at a two or a three. But when I was taking Fizotin for those three days, I was at an eight or a nine on the invincibility scale. At least that's the best I can describe it. So a month later, that was August 7th when I did the first run. Then uh, September 7th, I did it again, and I was really, really curious to see if it was gonna repeat. Now, it's important to understand I'm doing four grams a day during those three days, and I'm stopping resveratrol and quercetin, which I alternate. Some of you have asked about that recently. I take, give or take, uh, seven to 750 milligrams of resveratrol now every other day, and on the off days, I'm taking quercetin, one capsule, 400 grams, also put in my yogurt. It's probably not necessary. You just need to consume it uh, together with the fatty food, but I still am putting the powder inside the yogurt and stirring it up. Uh, every day when I take it. However, when I do the Fizotin boost, I put two grams on my yogurt. I don't do the resveratrol. I suspend the resveratrol and quercetin altering. And then I do a few hours later, not a long time later, but a few hours later, I do a spoon, a, tea, a tablespoon of olive oil together with two more grams. So I get that four grams of Fizotin uh, in a couple different fat sources per day for those three days. Crazy enough, crazy as it seems to me, I had the same boost on that Superman scale again for the three days. 
I kind of expected it, maybe halfway expected it, but to get it, to feel that again, and where it was dramatic, and then I did it when I was going to be doing a lot of exercise, because I really wanted to measure it with tennis, with running, with weights, and it impacted all three in the similar way, and there was no drop-off. Like, I could do all three, and I did do all three in the same day, and I still had energy to spare at the end of the workout, which hasn't been the case. I've been just happy to be able to work out and work out in various ways every day. I alternate my weight days. I alternate my running days. But to be able to just do it all in one day and have no drop off and still feel great the next day was, was different. It was a different level, like I said, on that Superman scale. Now, something really interesting happened the second time I did the Fizetin Boost. The drop off after the three days didn't go down, didn't appear for me to go down uh, to the two or three range on the Superman scale. Instead, I seemed to be about three to four. So my, my baseline came up the second time I did this. And this could be why the Mayo Clinic is offering this over several months. They're not just doing it one month. There's some accumulation of Fizetin of its effect. Now, what is it doing? For those of you that didn't see the first video, Fizetin is a senolytic, and it's killing off zombie cells and taking or senolytic cells, which are cells that stop dividing. So taking uh, this Fizetin high dosage for a few days kills off a lot of them, and it has a longer-term benefit, so you don't need to do it every single day. You can back off. And some senescent cells are good to have in your body, so killing them off constantly all the time may not be the best idea. However, I decided, and again, got greedy, that, hmm, I'm having three Superman days and then some half days or partial Superman days after that. What if I increased it? Some of these trials with Fizetin have been going on twice a month. So I thought, okay, let's try it. Maybe I can get six days of Superman, high on the Superman scale, six days. It's better than three. And maybe my drop-off will be even even better. So I tried it two weeks later again, and it did happen. I had three more days, the third time, that was last week, of a big boost of energy. And I do think, whereas maybe as I was three to four at baseline after the Fizetin, that drop-off after taking it, I do think I was a solid four afterwards. So um, there, it did seem to work, and I'm going to keep doing that now for a while. I don't think I'll go every week, but I'm definitely happy now with a couple times a month. I'm happy with that six days of Superman and then that sort of drop off after the fact. I really want to hear from other people and how you're doing. Uh, Fizetin's been out there for a while. There's a lot of research that's shown it's beneficial for mitochondria, cellular health, and it also helps balance your oxidant levels. So you've got antioxidants and prooxidants, but there needs to sometimes be a balance because some antioxidants can actually act as prooxidants. Oxidant health is very important, and that's something you can have checked. And it may not be only senescent cells causing that imbalance. You may have a deficiency in vitamin B12 or D or magnesium. You can get your oxidant health checked with your doctor through a blood test. And I highly encourage that whether or not you're going to try the Fizetin Boost because there can be other contributing factors to your oxidant health. So there you have my ongoing, uh, that's my second Fizetin update. It's continuing, which is great news. I mean, it'd be kind of a bummer if I said, yeah, the second time it didn't work like the first time. But fortunately, it's now worked three times and I'm increasing it and I'm getting more days in and my baseline level seems to be going up again. Maybe NMN is creating not only more cells in my body or more healthy cells, but also some more senescent cells and killing them off once in a while could be a really good thing by doing these Fizetin boosts. So the first winner, the first giveaway winner is Fizetin, and it goes to Tenzin Dolma. He just started his NMN journey. He's actually starting it next week, October 1st. Tenzin, I loved your comment, and I wish you well with it. And to hopefully help maximize that, all I ask is that you come back and comment again and let us know how you're doing not just with the NMN protocol, but also maybe trying that Fizetin once a month and seeing if that does for you what it's done for me. So congratulations, Tenzin Dolma. Giveaway number two, Lynn 
Balderose. She's been on an NMN journey. She's added resveratrol and a few other things for six months, and she says her doctor's kind of just out there. He, <laughs> he, uh, he doesn't really understand what she's going through, but she's like, I feel great. And I've heard that from a few people where their doctors are sort of mystified by it all. So I love hearing that. This is not to diminish or, or diss any doctors, by the way, but we do need to bring the medical community along with us in, to some extent, because as I mentioned, NAD boosting, the clinical reality is outpacing by far the research. So we have a lot more evidence from patient health than we do yet in the lab. And it's growing so fast. There's over 1,100 clinics offering NED boosting in the United States alone right now. So we do kind of have to bring our doctors along. We need them. We need their expertise. We want them to intervene in case something real serious is going on. And hopefully they can kind of learn parallel to us from our own experiences with these supplements. So I wish you luck with that, Lynn. Congratulations, you win a CERT-6 activator. Now, for the grand prize winner, Kim Schillick. Kim, you uh, have also recently started your journey, and you've been doing really well with a number of supplements, but you don't have these in this package from what I read. So you are the lucky winner of Collagen Peptides, I've been very happy. I've been on them over, just over a month. I don't even really consider them so much a supplement because it's a protein powder. It's sort of something that you'd take if you were uh, a weightlifter, similar to something you'd take if you were a weightlifter, although you'd want to take a different kind of protein powder to build muscle mass. Collagen's really good for the skin and joints, and I've been seeing some anecdotal evidence myself. It's a little early to post a video about that, but preliminarily, I'm definitely going to continue uh, the collagen peptides because they've been treating me really well. I do have a couple specific situations that they help with right away, but I'll save that to the video. I want to see it last over a little bit longer term to uh, before I start talking too much about the collagen peptides, but Pretty, pretty promising results. Um, Kim, you also win a CERT-6 activator. You won a hyaluronic acid, and you have won a Sephora Boost along with a Do Not Age t-shirt, a mug, and some exercise bands that I showed in the previous video. So congratulations to all of our winners, and keep watching because there will be more giveaways. Keep making those great comments because they help not only myself and this channel, but others to learn from your experiences as well. I want to thank Dr. Daniel Barrett for his comments. Be on the lookout for that big NAD shot and drip video coming up soon.